Imagine if basketball had a World Cup just like soccer. Well guys, I have found a custom roster here on NBA 2K23 with 30 national teams. For example, Luka Doncic on Team Slovenia, or even LeBron James and Stephen Curry on Team USA. And to make this simulation more like the World Cup, we're going to have a 14 game regular season and a 1 game playoff tournament. And so without further ado, fellas, go sit down, go relax, go grab your favorite snack, and let this simulation begin. Here we go. A little more information about today's simulation. Like I said earlier, it's a 14 game regular season. The quarter length stays at 12. And for the playoffs, it's a tournament style like the World Cup. Winner go home, one game each, four rounds. Also guys, the top 16 best teams will make the tournament. There is no conferences, no East or West. And before we simulate this season, let's go over the roster. So every NBA team will represent a country. 30 teams, 30 countries. This is the 2K roster I found. So if you guys see some things that are not right, you can let me know down below. Also some teams Teams like the Philadelphia 76ers will represent two countries like France slash Cameroon. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they are all Lithuania as you see some bonus and balance tunas. But this is going to be so much fun. Again, on the right of the screen, I'll pop that note section up throughout the video so you guys can see the teams and their countries. And I would make all 30 teams custom here on NBA 2K23, but they only allow you to make three teams. But anyways, these rosters are crazy. As you can see, not every player on these teams have played in the NBA. These are all their national teams. But look at Team Canada, aka the Clippers, they got Shea Alexander, Andrew Wiggins, Jamal Murray, RJ Barrett. They might be a favorite in today's simulation, but Team USA, I mean, oh my gosh, look at this roster. Durant, Curry, I mean, these are all the best NBA players. I mean, this is going to be a wild simulation. I need to see all your guys' predictions down below as we go to the rosters. And again, if these rosters aren't 110% accurate, I apologize. It's hard to do these types of simulations. So anyways, I just hope you guys have a lot of fun watching it. I'm going to have a lot of fun making it. And with the one-game playoffs, only four rounds, any team really has a chance to win it you could see upsets close games but yeah i was watching the world cup for soccer or ak football and i just had a lot of fun watching it so i'm like what if the nba had this i know there's the olympics and all that but it's just not the same as the world cup i feel like you guys know what i mean and i decided to make this simulation today and look at the orlando magic they got team greece on a koopa with all of his brothers i mean it's gonna be a wild simulation guys i mean i keep saying that but this is one of the simulations I've never done before where we have all the nationalities, all the countries going against each other to see which team will win. Obviously, Team USA is probably their favorite to win. I mean, look how stacked they were. But you can't count out teams like the Pacers, aka Team Japan with Roy Hachimura and Wananabe. And here's Team Latvia, Porzingis, Stevens, Bertans. What can they do, those two big fellas in New Orleans for the simulation? But again, guys, seriously, as we're going over this roster overview, before we simulate this 14-game regular season, comment down below the teams that you think is going to win. You could go up to three teams, two teams. It doesn't matter. Just don't go over five because if you go over five, that's kind of cheating. I feel like 95% of the comments are going to be Team USA. I mean, you guys should root for a team that you don't think is going to win because these are simulations at the end of the day by 2K. So anything could happen. Anything is possible. And we're just about at the end of these rosters here. As we see the Blazers team, Switzerland with Vucevic. Can he take that team to the tournament? Then we got the Warriors team, Bosnia with Nurkic. And last but not least, Team Finland with Lowry Marketing. Yes, he's a 94 overall. I can't believe it. This roster made him a 94. But honestly, the way he's playing this year, I give him a 94. But guys, it is now time to simulate this 14-game regular season as the 16 best teams will make the tournament. So sit down, relax, and let's find out who's moving on. But first, let's check out the MVP on a Kubo for Team Greece. 37 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. What a season for Giannis. And in this 14-game regular season, here is the first team All-NBA, Luca Ricky Rubio. He's back in his prime for his national team then we see on Kupo and B Jokic second team Ben Simmons how about that Josh Giddy then we see the third team all NBA LeBron James up there with Dennis Schroeder from Germany now here are the qualifiers for the tournament on the right of the screen you're gonna see the team names and the country so we see the Hawks the Grizzlies the Utah Jazz AK team Italy the Sixers the Bucks the Kings the Wolves make it the Magic the Clippers AK team Canada the Blazers the Bulls then we got Phoenix San Antonio at the 13th spot the Brooklyn Nets 7-7 seven seven. the Knicks will get in the Detroit Pistons as they're the teams that did not qualify, the Lakers don't make it, Cleveland, Houston, Golden State, Denver, Dallas, and the Celtics will finish last. They were Team China. And here's a 16-team tournament for today's Basketball World Cup. You guys see the matchups here in the first round. Remember that all of these rounds are just one game to move on. So without further ado, it is your last chance to make your predictions. It all comes down to this. And the road to the championship game will begin here in the first round. So go sit down, go relax, and let's get this simulation underway. Let's go. 
begin this tournament with Team Spain versus Team Greece going down the wire as we are tied at 119.43 seconds. Here is Team Spain, AK the Chicago Bulls. Rodriguez, to Willie Omer Gomez, doesn't have anything, takes it back out. Nothing still there, fans are on their feet. 32 seconds, winner go home. Rodriguez, Euro, off the glass and good. Rodriguez, who is this guy? He is the biggest shot of his life as here comes Team Greece on a Kubo down by two. On a Kubo turns the Jets on and one. Giannis on a Kubo, the MVP. A chance for the lead. He gets the contact and he looks hurt. He's putting the team on his back. 22 seconds. This for the lead. On a Kubo starts in Team Greece. 22 seconds away from winning this game to move on. But here comes Team Spain. Rodriguez just made it a moment ago. He's on the drive. Rodriguez. He can't be stopped. This guy is unbelievable. He puts it in. Team Spain leads by 111 seconds. Here comes the Greek Freak. Takes it back out. 101 with Miritich. Now down to 6 seconds. Yards the drive. Throws it down. And he gives the Magic the lead. Team Spain no timeouts. Rodriguez. Can he do it again? Oh, he almost banked it in. And heartbreak for Team Spain. They will fall by one and they're going home. As on a Kubo, the game winner. And all goes Team Greece. But now we go to Memphis where we see Team USA defeat Team Nigeria in a blowout 142 to 96 year final. So on goes Team USA in the second round as they get the win here. And for Nigeria, I mean, what a great season, but they will fall short. And now we're going to Utah where we have another close game. It is Team Brazil up two against Team Italy. But here come the Jazz, they go to Bonchero in the paint. Bonchero, no good. Rebound in the Knicks. They're one basket away from the dagger here on the road. Team Brazil, can they do it? I didn't expect them to make it in the second round, so if they do, that would be crazy. As here we go, Barbosa's back. Look at this. Barbosa pumping in the paint. Nothing there. Silva, blocked by Bonchero. What a block. Fans rise to their feet. Here comes the Jazz on the break. 12 seconds, and it all comes down to this for Team Italy. Here we go. The shot clock is off. Bonchero, can he do it again? Again, he missed a moment ago. Goes left. Bonchero. Good. With his right hand. It's a tie game. No timeouts for Bosa. Air ball. We got overtime. Paulo Bonchero doing it on both ends. And this game isn't over yet. And as we go to overtime, the New York Knicks will fall. So Team Italia comes back. They win this game in overtime. 126 to 121. And they defeat Team Brazil. So what a big win for Team Italy. They get the job done and they move on. And now we are headed off to Philadelphia where the Sixers will take out the Brooklyn Nets. So it's France slash Cameroon over in Brooklyn, which is Georgia. Oh, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, let me know down below. But they're going to beat them 140 to 123. So on goes and beat and Rudy Gobert. And so the number one team in the tournament is actually the Atlanta Hawks and they are Team Macedonia slash Turkey and they're going to take out Team Japan aka the Pacers 119 to 113 here in the first round and for a 16 seed what a run it was for Team Japan they almost got the upset done and now it's Team Switzerland aka the Blazers down by two on the road 46 seconds can they tie this game or will they go for the lead here we go Dubacic I pronounced that way wrong, but he gets the rebound and gets blocked again by Zubac. And here come the Timberwolves on the break, and these fans are on their feet. It all comes down to this 30 seconds, and now they go to Mario Hazonia, and he's only remembered for dunking on Giannis, as here he goes. The former Nick, why did he shoot it? What is he doing? Back to Hazonia. No good. I can't believe it didn't take that shot. As here come the Blazers. A chance to keep their season alive and force overtime. Here we go. In the paint. Nothing there. Back out. Three pointer. They won't take it. Four seconds. Three, two, swing it. Jumper. Rims out. And the Timberwolves will hold on. They're going to win this game. So down goes Portland. I mean, what a wild finish. And now it's Team Lithuania, a.k.a. Team Milwaukee Buck, over the Phoenix Suns, who are Team Ukraine. And they will get the job done here, 119 and 98. So down goes Team Ukraine. And on goes the Bucks. Team Canada and Team Germany are going down to the wire. 40 seconds in Sacramento. Schroeder lost the ball. Gets it back. Schroeder goes to the paint. Goes up. He gets it. 
to take over Jamal Murray. Dennis Schroeder gives Team Germany the lead. And these fans are on their feet. I mean, look at this one, one more time. Bounces off Jamal Murray and puts it in. And you know he's talking some trash. As here comes Team Canada. It's SGA. 30 seconds. He's 1-1. SGA top of the key in the spin. Go to the paint. Get to his spot. It's good. No foul call, but he gets it to go. And now after the timeout, Team Germany, 14 seconds. It's a one-point game. Schroeder gets Murray. Schroeder. Oh, what a cross. He scores. Dennis Schroeder doing everything for Team Germany. No timeout for Team Canada. Six seconds. Alexander. Crossover. Alexander got it. Again. What a game. What a finish, it's good if it goes from Schroeder, but it's off the mark. And Team Canada beats Team Germany, what a game. And so on goes Team Canada, absolute heartbreak for Team Germany. And now we are on the quarterfinals, eight teams remain as you see the matchups up on the screen. What a crazy first round. Anyways, I hope your favorite team is still in because we're going to now simulate this round here in NBA 2K23. So let's continue on. And as we start the quarterfinals, it is the 76ers over the Milwaukee Bucks. So Team France last Cameroon will be Lithuania here, 133 to 117. So down goes Milwaukee, and on go the 76ers. And now we're going to go to Team Utah, aka Team Italy, over the Timberwolves in this game, 127 to 119. So the Utah Jazz, I didn't expect Team Italy to get in the final four, but they will take a simulation with a victory. And now down goes the one seed in the tournament, Macedonia slash Turkey, the Hawks will go down as look at that three-pointer it's good but only 0.2 seconds remain as team Greece will on the coup board now head to the semi-finals with a win here over the Hawks so on goes the magic and down goes Atlanta in our only close matchup in the quarterfinals it is team USA going against team Canada team Canada down by one but Tristan Thompson misses the bunny they get the rebound however and it's back out to SGA under a minute to go here in Memphis Alexander it's good and Team Canada has the lead. They're first of the night. As I was doing the simulation, they were down by like 25, so they came all the way back. And here we go. How crazy will this upset be if Team Canada can beat Team USA? Here comes Curry. Jump on its way. Sticks it. And he gives a night night celebration with 40 seconds. It all comes down to this here in the quarterfinals. Canada first, USA. Which team's moving on? Alexander gives it up. Doesn't take it now. It's Tristan Thompson on Davis. Back to Alexander, who's been amazing all playoff tournament long. He gives it to Thompson. Throws it down. Team Canada strikes again. I mean, this is crazy. They won't stop. They have no quit. As here comes Team USA back again. Curry draws the double. Opens Bowler for three. Bang! Jimmy Bowler gives Team USA a two-point lead. Time out with 16 seconds remaining. And if I'm Team Canada, I'm going for the three-pointer in the win as they double SGA. It goes to Murray. Eight seconds down by two. Here comes the screen. Murray gives it up underneath. And it's Thompson again. What a pass. And we're all tied at 144. Curry, no timeout for the win. Airball, we got overtime. Who predicted this? Team USA versus Team Canada going to overtime here in this second round matchup. And still no winner has been decided. 23 seconds. Team USA down one. It's Curry. Puts it in. Stephen Curry, another night night celebration, but it is not over yet. Here comes Team Canada. Looking to do the impossible. 13 seconds down one. The double comes. Thompson and LeBron. Thompson, James. Former teammates in the paint, great defense. Four seconds, Alexander, it's good. Are you serious? Three seconds, USA to avoid the upset. No good, it almost went in, and unbelievable. Down goes the favorites of the tournament. Team USA will fall to Team Canada by one point. Game of the year. We are down to the semifinals. As you see, four teams remaining. It is Team France slash Cameroon against Team Greece, and then we got Team Canada versus Team Italy. And so it is time to find out which two teams will move to the championship game in today's simulation. So let's go. 
We will begin the semifinals off in Utah where Team Italy will go down to Team Canada 121 to 117. So off goes Team Canada to the championship. And for Team Italy, what a run they have, but it ultimately come to an end here in the semifinals. Now we're gonna see Joella beat and Rudy Gobert of Team France slash Cameroon go down to Team Greece with Honor Grupo 133 to 126 in the final. So we're gonna have Team Canada versus Team Greece in the finals. And guys, here we go. It all comes down to this. These two teams are the only two teams remaining. Team Greece with Honor Kupo against Team Canada with Jamal Murray, SGA, RJ, Barrett, and more. And if you predicted any of these teams to win, you are one step closer. Anyways, it is time to win the championship game on NBA 2K. And as we get to the championship game, it is a one point game. We're going down the wire as it all comes down to this here in this World Cup tournament for basketball. Alexander does it again. Team Canada has a lead with 38 seconds. And what a playoff tournament it has been for Alexander. And here comes Team Greece down by one. Top of the key. 33 seconds. No more timeouts for the Magic. They go to Onokupo. Oh, what a pass. Goes to Kupes. What was that? Oh, my goodness. The worst play in simulation history. Giannis can't believe it, and neither can I. As they will go to the line up by one, this to make it a two point game. And Brandon Clark got it. Like, guys, I can't believe we just witnessed that. What was that? As Clark misses the second, it's still a two point game. As on a Kubo on the drive, shut off nicely against Wiggins. Beat the line on a Kubo, bully ball. It's in. 16 seconds, timeout, Team Canada. 115, 115. Team Canada with a chance to win the whole entire tournament. They inbound to Alexander. And if you're Team Greece, you got to make sure the ball is out of SGA's hands. Under 10 seconds. Here we go. Shot clock is off. Alexander the drive. Alexander gets blocked by Giannis. They get it back. Opens Wiggins. Bang! Team Canada with one second. This might be the championship. One second remaining on Kufo for one more time. No good. And Team Canada wins the World Cup of Basketball. It's all over. Unbelievable. What a wacky play that ends up in Andrew Wiggins' hands for an open three. And down goes Team Greece in the championship. I mean, wow is all I have to say. What an ending to a crazy tournament. But guys, thank you so much for watching today's simulation. I hope you enjoyed it. And look at their celebration right now. I mean, an amazing run for Team Canada. Anyways, once again, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are all the GOATs. It's Halftime Productions, and we out.